This is unusual. Usually don't come out with beverages. Protein drinks, recovery drinks. beverages. Recovery, drinks. Drinks. They're recovery in the Matt, stop. I don't know what they're doing. I'm just saying they have drinks. I'm 99.9% sure. AD, just, just wondered the, the shift that you guys had, you know, once Drew he was in that lineup and then you were playing off ball uh, on Jokic. How much you thought that that gave you a sign? Is it something you guys will use in the series? And how much part of that was? Yeah. Um, something that we just went to a little adjustment. Uh, different adjustment just throughout the course of the game. Um, we did end up, <clears throat> you know, liking it, stayed with it for a while. Uh, Maybe something we go to game two. You know, obviously we got to go back at the, look at the film. But I'm um, just thinking about it right now. Uh, something that we like, you know, just to also have me, you know, roaming and things like that. So uh, good adjustment. But like I said, we'll go back and, and figure out ways we can be better. And LeBron, just what did you notice about the way Denver hit first? So, like, uh, what was the key on the glass and Jokic and everything? And, and how did you guys find a way to adjust over the course of the game? Yeah, I mean, it took us a half to get into the game, and uh, that was pretty much the ball game right there. Uh, we got to understand that, um, you know, we got to start from from the tip off, you know, and uh, they punched us in the mouth to start. You know, I think they had more offensive rebounds than we had total rebounds um, in the first half, and uh, you know that led to um, them getting second chance points. They also got on the fast break and killed us in the fast break in the first half, you know, and uh, it was ten for ten from the free throw line, so. You know, I know the game is won in 48 minutes, but they set the tone in 24 minutes, and you know we're playing catch up for the for the next 24. Hey. Well, I haven't been through so many of these before. How do you feel like the team like can be affected by cutting the margin down to three, like you did tonight, going into the next game, versus it staying out of reach? Um, I mean, in the postseason, it doesn't matter if you cut it to one or you're down 20. If you lose, you lose. They're a one-zero, and we have to come back with desperation. Um, going into game two, we have to play better. We have to rebound better. Um, I thought we did a good job of not turning the ball over. Um, that's one thing we've been very conscious about in the postseason. But we've been better in transition tonight. We wasn't that great in the first half. We cleaned it up in the second half. Um, so we need to be better at all facets of the game. Ron, what was the key to that fourth quarter stretch where you hit Austin a couple times or kind of targeting Walker and just kind of find that? <clears throat> no, just kind of reading the game. Uh, it's the game, always a game in between the game, and just reading the game and making the proper reads. You know, um, you know, they started to go to a, a you know, a three, four, five switch and pick and rolls. But anytime I was involved with AD, they started to switch, you know, Joker onto me, and uh, you know, trying to keep it body on body because AD was doing a great job of getting into that pocket and and, and and doing what he does best with his floaters and and you know things of that nature. So, um, you know, we have opportunities and we know we can go to other things that. Um, that also can work for us with, you know, myself handling the ball with guards, set pick a roll, trying to get a good matchup, uh, seeing how they're going to play, if they're going to switch or if they're going to hard show or whatever the case may be. And we just try to exploit that and um, and allow AR to get going in the fourth. Hey, do you were very complimentary of Jokic before this game. A, could you describe how he played in, in particular? What did you say to him when he made that crazy shot right before the half? Uh, he's a two-time MVP. Uh, he very skilled. Um, you know, obviously, that's his number show. Uh, made some tough shots. You know, we just try to make it tough for him. You know, switching up matchups and schemes on him. But you know, he he he's been playing well through the entire uh, season, and you know, especially in this playoffs. So uh, you know, you tip your hat to him. Um, and then a shot. I mean, he just. You know, I just looked at him and just smiled. I mean, there's nothing else I could have done. Um, he, 40 feet away from the basket. You know, one dribble, kind of throws it up and it goes in. So, uh, you know, it was definitely one of them nights. But, uh, you know, we, we encouraged about, you know, second half of the game and um, things we can get better at and make some adjustments going to game two. You guys found stuff after the, the first half, but how much of it do you think was the size on the court to start the game? You guys didn't go small. They're a pretty big team and, and that thing. One point they had nine offensive rebounds on their first 11 misses in the game. How much of a factor do you think that was? Uh, some of them was effort play. Some of them was just out of um, out of reach. Um, you know, we had a couple opportunities to get early uh, defensive rebounds. We wasn't able to do that. One of them was a block out by me. Um, the Joker coming down the middle was one of his offensive rebounds. Um, you know, so. Um, 
you know, I think some of them was effort. Some of them is, is about size. But I think for the, mo for the majority, some of them ones in the first half, we just wasn't, uh, we wasn't just locked in. We wasn't in tune. Uh, he had six offensive rebounds in the first quarter. He had six offensive rebounds for the game. So that just lets you know we started to get more and more in tune with what we need to do, how we need to block out, how we need to hit bodies and things of that nature. Um, you know, and I think we got better as the game went on. Both uh, Austin and Rui said they felt that there was a lack of energy and especially a lack of effort in the first half. Do you agree with that? And how do you explain a lack of effort in game one of the Western Conference? Uh, we'd be better. We'd be better. Um, you know, we, we know we didn't play up to our capabilities in that first half. Um, and I even thought in the third quarter when they were making shots, we were going back and forth and making shots. I thought we was even, we were still in tune with it. They were just making some, 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 uh, you know, shots with hands in their faces, the bodies on bodies. Um, but, um, you know, we'd be better in game two, that's for sure. Uh, LeBron, obviously there's a lot to move it up. A lot's going to be made about Jokic tonight and his performance, but what about AD's offensive game was impressive to you, and do you feel like he was able to keep you guys within that striking distance in the first three quarters there to make that fourth quarter comeback? Uh, AD was phenomenal, uh, 40 and 10, chain shots at the rim, um, you know, but he's been... And he's been great all postseason, so we, we're not worried about that, you know. Um, you know, so we just have to do our side. We have to do our job as well, you know, myself and <clears throat> chipping in, everybody, you know, uh, down down the ladder from there. So, um, you know, it's nothing that surprises about AD's performance. Um, we got to do a great job of just backing him up, you know, not only on the offensive end to relieve pressure off of him, but also on the defensive end as well. Uh, when he's changing shots, we have to clean glass. We have to help. We have to make our rotations clean. Um, that allows us to do what we need to do offensively. Appreciate it.